Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel. That seatbelt light flashing, the reason it's flashing is just to get your attention and distract you and annoy you. No, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Just a quick video, just to let you know a couple of uh, parameters that I have on my scan gauge and what my typical view is going to be in our 120 Prado. So this would be the same if I owned anything from a middle of 2006. I'm not sure if these scan gauges work on the 05, early 06 Hiluxes or on the 1KZs, uh, that information will be in another video, so if you want that, just make sure you are subscribed with the bell on, we're going to check that for you, but anything from a middle of 06 Prado or Hilux 1KD, you know, Hilux with the EGR cooler, this should work and will work, most likely, scan gauge here we're talking about, but what I wanted to sort of show you was the four parameters I have up and a couple of other quick reasons for having it there. You can see the coolant temp, so whether I'm idling or driving, it's normally around the 85, 86. Goes up a bit as the temperatures get hotter. we are currently got an ambient temperature of about 11 degrees. You can see the ATF at about 50 degrees there on the top right. Um, this is a plug and play unit. You just unpack it and plug it in, right? We're gonna have, or we've got some videos on that. But if you want specific transmission uh, temperature, there's a number of different codes, depending what vehicle and um, we've got ours programmed for this five-speed auto for the four-speed auto and the Hilux and of course the six-speed auto in our Prado and we've had that in other vehicles as well so all the codes as far as I can see are available for transmission temperature which is good because I know that's something that a lot of people want so I have coolant temp up there on the top left transmission temp on the top right we've only driven about 20 minutes so you can see it's nice and cool still the five speeds behind in the 120 and in the 150 I'd suggest that the code for the transmission is probably the same up until the end of 1KDs, but I also know there is a couple of different codes, so you may, and of course there's torque converter. I'm not interested in the torque converter, that's a temporary heat, if you know what I mean. I just want to know the pan temperature. So yeah, coolant temp the top left, auto pan temp at the top right, got the battery voltage, you know, the ECU output, power, charge rate, if you like, alternated charge rate, about 14 volts, which is you'll find it up a little bit because we use the voltage booster diet as we have for the last eight years in this vehicle as many people also have for a lot longer than that and a lot of people we know for the same period of time or longer quite successfully and it boosts the voltage up about 0 0.5 0 0.6 we use the one from um doesn't matter he's in greensboro and victoria lee lee w what's the name uh something anyway right hkb elect or something like that so if you look around alternator voltage booster diode for the 1kds like the 120s and the 150 1kds anyway you'll see it does vary still because these alternators they do vary in voltage but you'll see about half to 0.6 if i didn't have that we'd be looking around about 13 and a half volts at the moment and you can see the load the bottom right which is one of the most important ones to know the health of the injectors it's not the only thing but it's one of the main things we can tell a lot by where that load reading's at and the load reading what it should be on your vehicle you should probably check out our injected the diagnostic playlist because it goes through all the different vehicles we're working on and tells you what the load should be what's normal for autos and manuals Hilux four speeds are different to five speeds and Prados and six speeds are different and one GDs are different and all this sort of thing there's a lot of variables there but I'll tell you again for the 120 Prado auto five speed auto the most common one 11 is beautiful that's like new injectors still so that's what we want to see anyway guys just wanted to show you a quick one typical view on our dash you can even see the automatic transmission temperature is actually dropping while we're sitting here and you might wonder why that is well it's actually warming up because it's going through the coolant but the thing is it's also getting cooling from the pan and the, the pan's got 11 degrees on it I can tell you at the moment while you're driving that's cooling it's got a good cooling effect and also once it's running through the radiator that's warming so the transmission temp in these vehicles typically ends up in the high 70s but depending on your driving and what you're doing you'll notice when i drive it'll be in four you know you know four like you know, some of the day you'll see it there and four not in drive because that's overdrive slipping and getting hot a lot of the time if you don't understand what i'm talking about you need to just keep watching the video subscribe turn the bell on i kept this one short scan gauge i might even lay it might not happen straight away but if i get a chance i'll put a link in the description az scanners in case you want to get one but i'm not saying to go and get one but this is probably the most handy tool that you can plug and play have sitting there um, as an additional to your dashboard this temperature gauge over here on the right 
that doesn't move. Once it warms up, that's it. It gets up there from about 60, 70 degrees and it'll stay there for, it'll go over 100 and it won't move. If you wanna know your corn temp, top left, you need to have a digital readout like that. Works really well, so then you know when to back it off or when your engine's not warmed up yet, so take it easy as well. Anyway, handy things to know, quick video. Hope you liked it. Smash the like button if you did and subscribe, turn the bell on. More info coming soon. See ya.